Welcome back guys. Today we're gonna paint the bottom of the Camaro, bottom, inside, firewall, uh, basically everything but the exterior of the car. We're gonna spray. We're gonna use DP LV50 as a sealer. And then we're gonna go DBC. This car is uh, uh, straight red. Uh, it's a variant of Victory Red, GM Victory Red. Uh, we're gonna do red on everything on the bottom and then we're gonna do a stripe down the firewall and kind of back down the tunnel and then we're gonna do some Chevrolet lettering and whatnot on the bottom of the subframe connectors so should be a fun little paint job we're gonna paint inside the trunk bottom of the car inside the car everything except the outer skin of the car, which we will paint next week. So now we've got everything wiped down, everything's ready to go. I'm gonna start spraying, I'm gonna do DP50 LV. I'm gonna start on the inside and then work my way around to the firewall and then down the bottom. base coat. So this is the base we've got. It's a nice bright red using a Iwata WS400 with a fisheye filter. We're going to get this whole thing red. We're going to do three coats of red and then it's going to sit for about an hour or so before we start masking stripes and letters. So here we go. two coats down on the bottom and the inside. Now we're going to shut the lights off and actually look at it with just one concentrated light. And what we're looking for is stuff like up in this pocket here where there's not, it's not quite covered up in there. Stuff like that right around the edge of that. See down in there in that crack. We're looking, we're getting real picky with coverage at this point. We're looking for any little tiny nooks and crannies, things like down in there where it's not quite covered. That's what we're looking for here. So now we've got three coats of red DBC, Victory Red on the bottom. We're gonna let this dry. It's about 11.30 right now. We're gonna eat lunch, let this dry for an hour, hour and a half or so. Then we're gonna come in and start laying our, our stripes and our lettering. Start doing some black stripes on the bottom. Get that done, get it in the clear today yet. Take some black and I'm just going to kind of lightly dust this in 
when you're doing decals, you don't want to put a very heavy coat on because sometimes it can actually bleed under the tape. So we want to avoid that.